river towards up and let's go straight. Kevin thanks very much See Portland is indeed one of the great cities in the NBA David thank you a look at the San Antonio Spurs opening line to Rosen out there with Johnson then there's Murray then there's Jakob Pertl and it's white in at the two guard spot and for the trailblazers pairing up in the backcourt Lillard and McCollum Powell is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Nurkic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And he just glides to the hoop on his drives. DeRozan's got plenty of force to his game. Don't get me wrong, but he makes everything look so effortless. Now here's Lillard. And the basket is good. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. San Antonio with the ball. Well, you look at the career that Dame Lillard has had so far. Taken sixth in the 2012 draft out of Weber State. A small school, but this guy became a franchise player immediately for the Blazers. That fall, nice feed that time for McCollum. Well, that'll get you a pat on the back from your teammate McCollum. Unselfish and aware, picking out the perfect pass. Passes it to Johnson. Murray outside. Pass to DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Covington. Another miss by DeRozan. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Oh, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. You're not going to miss many of those. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah. You can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Here's Murray following the score by Damian Lillard. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. So for the Trailblazers, Ennis Canners checked in for Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Simons in for McCullough. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Eubanks is checked in. Gay comes in for Johnson. Bonnie Walker, he's checked in for White. That's Mills in for Murray. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. And here's Mills. The pass to DeRozan. She's over Powell. And DeMar DeRozan, the bucket on the assist by Mills. DeRozan's got his second basket of the game. And talk about a strong finisher. DeRozan will challenge anyone when he's looking to score. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Portland Trailblazers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Before the game, we talked with Damian Lillard. He had this to say when asked about his future plan. I know that when the main guy usually decides. I think he's willing to bear the brunt. And he's also looking out for others. Great leadership. His teammates seem to rally around that, and it's why every team he's on is a difficult out. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Trailblazers guys, uh, what do you think? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court right now for the Spurs, we've got Rudy Gay, and it's Eubanks in its center. They swipe it. Gay with no one around, and it's off from three-point range. Trailblazers leading by seven. Lillard with it. He's picked up by Walker to the inside. And finished off by Collins. And what a selfish play from Lillard. This guy's no problem giving it up, especially when his teammates wide open. And it's Mills with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. concentration to hit the double clutch layup up and under and in I mean thinking on the fly with the double clutch Anthony finds Lillard that one falls coming off Anthony's feet 
Lillard's got the lead up to 10 now for Portland. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Walker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Eubanks. Four on the clock. Shots good by Mills. And so here's Port. And a deep free from Lillard. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Portland in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Terry Stotts. Coach, they've been shooting poorly. Is that good defense or bad offense? Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to... Leading the way at the start, it was Damian Lillard. He had 14 points and one assist. Shaq, how do you think the Trailblazers were playing? It's been Dame time offensively. Leads by example and... And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, on selfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, it, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. it, you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. The high-powered backcourt pair. Lillard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Powell. And it's Nurkic in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Oh, it's easy to forget about Lillard's hops. I mean, this guy has some sick dunks up his sleeve. So it's the Spurs now. The Blazers getting the bucket. DeRozan surveying the D. Passes it to Murray. Five on the clock. Back to DeRozan. Shoots it up. No good on the shot. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Lillard against Murray. Nurkic kicks to Lillard. Pass to McCollum. Back to Lillard. Count it. And he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. All right, I'm telling you, don't let Lillard get in rhythm. Once he's feeling it, he's going to burn you on every possession. Powell against DeRozan. Yep, that one goes in there. DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Lillard with it. I'm deep. Oh, good on that one. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. Back to the end. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. No, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And with three quarters behind us, 
Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Spurs trail by eight on the floor for San Antonio. Johnson is out there at the Rosen. Then there's Purdy. Then there's DeJounte Murray. And it's Walker in at the shooting guard position. It's good on the putback. Pirtle's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Spurs. And Pirtle is always a threat to come away with offensive rebounds thanks to his amazing timing, especially when the D fails to box him out. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's the break. Here's DeRozan. Banked in off the glass. Nice hustle there. You can count on DeRozan for this. He works so tirelessly as a scorer. McCollum deciding where to go with it. And Pirtle pulls it down. And Murray's got the ball here for San Antonio. Trailing by four. Man, guys, he's been a pro for a long time. DeRozan still with the hops to flush. And boy, does he get up quick. McCollum up top, bonded by Walker. Good! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make crucial shots. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're down by four. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Damian Lillard. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. Ellis? Thanks, David. Here's DeRozan. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Alert against Murray. Now here's Lillard. Clock at four. A three from McCollum. A three-pointer is right on target. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. This is no let-up. You know, this is the kind of hard-nosed competitiveness that wins games. San Antonio calls timeout. They're trailing by six. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? There's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, right now it's technically a two-possession game, but that means you'll have to hit two threes without your opponent scoring. And now he decides to foul intentional. And so it's Portland winning this one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be 